Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the journey of Quest, where we quench your thirst of knowledge. Ever wondered how the world of crystals is structured and organized? Welcome to the intriguing world of crystallography, the scientific field that dives deep into the mysteries of the atomic arrangement in crystalline solids. Crystallography is a discipline of study that is both profound and exciting, playing an integral role in the unravelling of physical phenomena that shape our world. It weaves the threads of knowledge from diverse fields such as chemistry, physics, biology and geology to create a tapestry that provides us with an understanding of the structure of matter. The journey through the mesmerizing realm of crystallography involves an exploration of numerous concepts that contribute to a comprehensive understanding of the structural complexities of crystals. One of the first concepts we're diving into is that of point groups. Point groups are essentially mathematical concepts that help us identify and understand the symmetry that is inherent in different crystals. As we explore point groups, we'll delve into their various types, their role in crystallography, and how they aid in the classification of crystals. From there, we journey further into the depths of crystallography with the introduction of space groups. As we delve into the world of space groups, we explore the different classes of space groups, their characteristics, and how they provide a broader understanding of the spatial arrangement of atoms within crystals. Our journey doesn't stop there. We then venture into the world of reciprocal lattices. We'll explore what they are, why they're important, and how they're related to the original lattice. We'll also look at the reciprocal lattice in Fourier space and understand their importance in crystallography. Our exploration then takes a plunge into the phenomena of diffraction and imaging. These two essential tools in the crystallographer's toolkit are used to reveal the secrets of crystalline structures, providing a window into the world of atoms and their arrangement in crystals. Will the principles behind these techniques, their applications and their importance to the field of crystallography? Dive into the fascinating world of crystallography and let's start with the concept of point groups. So what exactly is a point group in crystallography? Let's dive in. Point groups are a fundamental concept in the study of crystals. They're a mathematical way of describing the symmetry of a crystal. Picture a crystal as an intricate puzzle piece with an array of geometric shapes and patterns. Point groups help us comprehend these patterns by breaking down the symmetry operations that are possible within a crystal. Think of symmetry operations as movements that you can make to a crystal without changing its appearance. These could be rotations, reflections, inversions, or combinations of these. For instance, a cube can be rotated by 90 degrees around an axis going through two opposite corners without changing its appearance. That's a symmetry operation. Each crystal structure can be associated with a particular point group, which is a set of symmetry operations that leave at least one point in space fixed. The point group gives information about the overall shape of the crystal, but doesn't tell us how the crystal is arranged in space. Imagine point groups as the basic building blocks of a crystal structure. They define the inherent symmetry in a crystal's shape, like the repeating patterns in a kaleidoscope. Point groups provide the basic building blocks of a crystal's structure. But how do these blocks organize in space? That's where space groups come in. Now. Let's explore the concept of space groups. A space group in crystallography is the mathematical description of the symmetries of a crystal. It's like a blueprint telling us how to arrange atoms in a three-dimensional space to form a crystal structure. In the simplest terms, a space group is a combination of translations, rotations, reflections and inversions. These operations form a repeating pattern that extends indefinitely in three dimensions, creating the infinite crystal lattice that we see. Now you may wonder how many space groups are there? Well, there are exactly 230 unique space groups. Each one of these represents a unique way of arranging atoms in a crystal, and they are all catalogued in the international tables for crystallography. So, how do we use space groups? Well, once we know the space group of a crystal, we can determine its structure. We can figure out where the atoms are, how they're bonded, and what shape the crystal should be. This information is crucial for understanding the physical and chemical properties of the crystal. Moreover, space groups play a key role in X-ray crystallography. By studying the diffraction pattern produced when X-rays are fired at a crystal, 
Scientists can work out its space group and hence its atomic structure. Understanding space groups gives us a three-dimensional picture of a crystal. But how do we relate this to the physical properties of the crystal? Enter reciprocal lattices. Reciprocal lattices, a concept that might seem complex, but is fundamental to crystallography. Delving into the world of crystallography, we can't overlook the role of reciprocal lattices. Although they may seem like an abstract concept, they are integral to understanding the physical properties of crystals. But what are reciprocal lattices exactly? In simple terms, they are mathematical constructs that provide a simplified way to describe the periodic arrangement of atoms in a crystal. Imagine the atoms in a crystal as points in a three-dimensional grid. This grid can be mathematically transformed into a reciprocal lattice, which is essentially another grid but in reciprocal space. The beauty of reciprocal lattices lies in their ability to simplify complex calculations. For instance, they make it easier to calculate the directions and intensities of diffracted beams of X-rays, neutrons or electrons that interact with the crystal. Moreover, the concept of reciprocal lattices helps us understand and predict physical properties of crystals. For instance, the arrangement of points in a reciprocal lattice can help us deduce how a crystal will respond to different forms of energy, such as heat or electricity. In essence, reciprocal lattices are the unsung heroes of crystallography. They bridge the gap between the microscopic world of atoms and the macroscopic properties we observe in crystals. With reciprocal lattices, we can make sense of a crystal's properties. But what happens when we shine light on these crystals? That's where diffraction comes into play. Ever noticed how light bends when it passes through a crystal? That's diffraction for you. This phenomenon is not just limited to light, it extends to other types of waves, including X-rays, which are paramount in the world of crystallography. So, what exactly is diffraction? Simply put, it's the bending of waves around obstacles, or when they pass through a gap. In the case of crystals, the waves are X-rays, and the obstacles are the atoms within the crystal. As these X-rays pass through, they bend, creating a pattern that can reveal the internal structure of the crystal. Think of diffraction as a detective, unveiling the secrets that the atoms in a crystal are trying to hide. Each crystal has a unique atomic structure, and thus a unique diffraction pattern. By studying these patterns, scientists can determine the number and arrangement of atoms, the lengths and types of chemical bonds, and even the angles between these bonds. The beauty of diffraction in crystallography is that it gives us insights that would otherwise remain hidden. It's like a key, unlocking the door to the microscopic world within crystals. A world that is as fascinating as it is complex. Diffraction gives us a peek into the internal arrangement of atoms. But to get a clearer image, we need to delve into the world of crystallographic imaging. Imaging, a tool that brings the hidden world of crystals to life. Imaging in crystallography is like an artist's brush painting a vivid picture of the intricate structures hidden within the heart of crystals. It's through this tool that we can visualize the organization of atoms and molecules in a three-dimensional space, making the invisible visible. Imaging techniques in crystallography are diverse, each offering a unique perspective into the crystal world. Techniques like X-ray crystallography, neutron diffraction and electron microscopy are some of the common tools used by scientists today. X-ray crystallography, for instance, is a powerful imaging technique able to reveal the internal structure of a crystal by capturing how X-rays are diffracted within it. Neutron diffraction, on the other hand, is like a detective probing into the crystal to discover its atomic and magnetic structures. It's particularly useful when studying magnetic materials or hydrogen bonds. And then there's electron microscopy a tool that can give us high-resolution images of the crystal, allowing us to see its fine details. But why do we need to image crystals? Well, the answer is simple. By understanding the structure of crystals, we can predict their properties and behavior. This knowledge is crucial in various fields, from materials science to pharmaceutical research. In materials science, for example, understanding the crystal structure can help in the development of stronger, more durable materials. In the pharmaceutical industry, crystallographic imaging is equally important. It allows researchers to visualize the structure of complex molecules like proteins, which can aid in the development of new drugs. 
By seeing how these molecules are arranged in a crystal, scientists can design drugs that interact more effectively with them, leading to more efficient treatments. From the basic point groups to the fascinating world of imaging, crystallography unravels the mystery of crystals one layer at a time. Voice over. Now you might be wondering, where do we see crystallography in our day-to-day -day lives? Well, the answer is everywhere. Crystallography is essential in the development of many materials we use daily. Metals, ceramics and plastics all have their properties defined by their inner crystal structure, which is studied through crystallography. In the pharmaceutical industry, crystallography plays a crucial role. It helps scientists to understand the structure of complex molecules and design effective drugs. So the next time you pop a pill for a headache, remember, crystallography might have played a part in its creation. Even the food industry benefits from crystallography. It aids in understanding the structure of various food items, which can lead to improvements in quality and even taste. From the car you drive to the medicine you take, crystallography is everywhere. It's a hidden science that shapes our world in ways we might not even realize. So keep exploring, keep learning and stay curious. And remember, the world is full of fascinating structures just waiting to be discovered. Voice over. So what does the future hold for crystallography? As we delve deeper into the 21st century, the field of crystallography is set to evolve and expand exponentially. With advancements in technology, crystallography will continue to offer more precise and detailed insights into the world of crystals. It will play a significant role in the development of new materials and drugs, impacting industries from construction to pharmaceuticals. Imagine a world where new materials, lighter and stronger than anything we've seen before, are developed thanks to the insights gained from crystallography or a world where diseases that are currently incurable can be treated with drugs, the design of which was made possible by understanding the molecular structure through crystallography. The future of crystallography promises exciting discoveries and breakthroughs in the understanding of matter. From revealing the secrets of complex chemical reactions to unraveling the mysteries of materials that make up our universe, crystallography is set to continue its journey of discovery. So. Buckle up! The journey of crystallography is far from over. It continues to unravel the mysteries of the universe one crystal at a time. We're excited to see where this science will take us next, and we hope you are too. Stay tuned for more fascinating insights into the world of crystallography. Voice over. As we conclude this journey, remember, the world of crystallography is not just about understanding the structure of crystals, but about using that knowledge to improve our lives and the world around us. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of crystallography. Stay curious, stay passionate, and never stop exploring. The world of crystallography is waiting for you to unravel its mysteries. Until next time, keep discovering. And subscribe our YouTube channel.